Okay, AP Physics, UT Quest problem, uniform circular motion. This is a banked curve problem. Banked curve problems are a classic physics problem. Um, I'm not exactly, I haven't seen it appear on the AP test very often, but it is a good uh, problem for uniform circular motion. Okay, so here's our situation. We have this car going around this curve. And let's do a free body diagram, and let me explain a few things that are going along along the way. Okay, first of all, we have our most obvious force, our weight. But we see that our weight is perpendicular to the center of the turn, so it has no component along the radius, therefore it's not going to provide any force centripetal towards the center. All right, let's take a look at our next force. Our next force is force normal, perpendicular, and force friction. I realize it's friction, but let's take a look at this. Force friction is parallel. Now, if I look at these forces, all right, when we have a horizontal track without a bank, that force friction is pointed towards the center of the circle. That becomes our agent for our centripetal force and it's pretty easy to solve. But we can see none of these forces are pointed along the radius towards the center. So how do we solve this problem? Well, what we need to look at is each one of these forces has a component that's towards the center of the circle. Now, when we have friction involved, it, this becomes a pretty complex problem. Now, fortunately, we don't have friction. So I only have one force, or rather a component of a force, pointed towards the center. And that is this component of force normal, which I've labeled uh, FNC, force normal centripetal. So that's the, our only agent for our uniform circular motion. So that helps us out quite a bit. All right, so this thing, since it is our agent for our centripetal force, I can set that equal to mass times acceleration centripetal. Okay, so what we need to do here is let's concentrate on this force normal force diagram. We need to break this into components. Well, I know this vertical component of force normal has to be equal to the weight. What I need, though, is I need the side opposite of this little triangle. Then that would be my force normal pointed towards the center of the circle. So let's do a little bit of trigonometry here. Okay, if I set this up as a tangent opposite over adjacent, I can take this very simply and solve for force normal pointed towards the center of the circle. Okay, so now I'm ready to go to Newton's second law and let's make our substitutions. I know our, my force centripetal is equal to my mass times my acceleration centripetal. Well, my force centripetal, just a little bit of algebra on the previous term, and I come up with this, equal to mass times vct squared over r. The masses cancel, so I can solve for anything I need to. The theta is given, the radius is given, uh, G is given, so I can solve for my uh, tangential speed. Okay, so a um, very classic physics problem. A banked curve, if that curve is banked enough, I can easily negotiate it without any friction whatsoever. And that's, of course, why we bank curves.